Pimbaliba. Thanks, Lee. You don't know how I talked you into this. Hi, Kate. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Kate Voss out of our uh, front office with us tonight. And uh, you got a big night here with a bunch of different groups going on in Washington night and a Bradley night. So we wanted to talk about some of those things that are going on here at the ballpark when we finish the homestand. But how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's a great day for a ball game. It's 75. There's a breeze. The sun's out. That's Could right. Did you ask for anything more? Uh, a wind? Okay. okay. I'll, I'll so allow that, that question. We'll allow we, that we can question. ask for a wind. Okay. I'll, um, I, I can't necessarily say yes or no to that. I don't control any of That's that. Right. But there's nobody in the dugout to hear that, so I'll do my best. The things you can control, though, and as we uh, we talk about those things here over the next uh, few minutes, but um, I know Washington Night, and there's a whole lot of orange shirts in the ballpark, and uh, they're all here for uh, for Washington Night, and that's been a big thing that you've been working on for a lot of the summer, so uh, tell us what's going on tonight for Washington Night. This is probably, outside of the education days, my favorite days. Washington is... I've been able to work with them for the past four seasons now, and I feel like every year gets better than... Than the, than the previous one. So um, this year worked with the Park District quite a bit, which was new um, a, after working with the Chamber for three years, but did a great job. Um, I know we'll have a lot of kids here. We've got a high five tunnel hitter night. Um, they're up at the Pitching for Charity table raising money for their Park District Foundation, so stop in and say hi to Brian. Um, the Orange Churchers are filling the seats, which is, you know, very exciting. It's, it'll be kind of cool. Keep an eye on this side of the ballpark. It'll be a lot of orange tonight. You, uh, you mentioned the Washington Park District Foundation. That is the beneficiary of our patron for charity. So go up, buy tennis balls. Uh, dollar, they're six uh, for $5, chance to win prizes. Maui Gym sunglasses, a TV, prizes from Dick Sporting Goods, from Hux, from East Peoria Motors, uh, from Spirit of Peoria, and other businesses as well. So, and raising money there for Washington Park District Foundation. But we were, we were going over that in the meeting. You mentioned the High Five Tunnel, but you've, we've also got uh, from there as well the Color Guard. And, uh, and a whole lot else going on tonight, too. Absolutely. The Legion Post is coming out. They're going to present the colors tonight. Uh, we've got a national anthem singer and a God Bless America singer. First pitch. Um, mayor. Yep. we got the mayor and a couple others. I think I lost my mic. Hello. You're good. Um, the mayor will throw out a first pitch. Um, fourth year in a row since I've been here, but I think he's been out yep. for quite a while. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, I hope he's, he's, a, he's a veteran of the first pitches and uh, and then kaboom I see kaboom's down here as well for Bradley night so uh, we got I guess the uh, the color scheme the orange and the red uh, with uh, Washington night and, and Bradley night tonight which I know you uh, you helped out with as well absolutely we're excited to have them here they got a table up on the third base side kaboom's walking around um, was talking with him earlier he's excited to see some hopefully make some new Bradley fans um, with the younger kids and He's going to throw out a first pitch. Yeah, he said he was stretching. He's over there right now getting loose with Steven right behind the, uh, the Toro right there. You're looking right into the sun, but trust he's, me, he's over there. He's listening very carefully to those pregame yeah. directions. That's right. He's, he's ready to go with that. So, yeah, the, I, I guess um, what goes on behind the scenes when you, uh, you uh, Kevin, Kyle, John, uh, your, your ISRs, when you guys plan a group night like that, what, what goes on behind the scenes of, of getting those? Obviously, you've got to make sure uh, on some of those nights, if you've got a pitch in, that you might have to direct them to a different night because there might already be somebody on that pitch in for charity. Different things like that. Just, just walk us through a couple of, of those steps that goes on behind the scenes while we're on the road. So a lot of it actually starts in October and November, um, getting out and meeting with the community, meeting with the chamber, meeting with the park district, uh, making sure you're, you're connecting with the right people. Um, we really, these nights are about celebrating the community, honoring those that are involved, you know, having the mayor throw the first pitch, being, honor, being able to honor what he does for the community every day. Um, and that's, that's really what it's all about, you know, bringing everybody together. We're going to put on a fireworks show you know, hopefully cheer the guys on to a win. But a lot of that comes with how can we get kids involved? How can we showcase what these communities have to offer? The parks and rec, the, the baseball, the softball, the soccer, um, you know, any of those other sports that are going on, not just in the summer, but year round. Um, they do a great job giving back to their community, um, keeping kids involved, lots of activities. So that's one thing that we like to do being, you know, very proud of how we connect with our surrounding community is bring them here and showcase what they have to offer. Kind of put the spotlight on them for a while. And it kind of takes over the summer, too, because you got the school groups in uh, April and May and then in, in June, July and, and in August as they get ready to go back to school, we can highlight the kind of the non-school parts of, of our local communities. Absolutely. Um, I know that a lot of the uh, Washington junior highs and, and primaries, they're involved with our reading program, which is great, reading incentives. Uh, that's very important. They come out on our education day. Uh, we have groups come over from Washington to sing the national anthem consistently through the year. So this is an opportunity for us to tie it all together on one big celebration 
Uh, and of course, throw the exclamation mark on with that post-game fireworks show. We're, we're ready to roll on a weekend series to Clinton, which uh, gets you a couple of days off uh, weekend-wise uh, here for the ballpark, but then back in uh, into the office on Monday because we're right back home on Wednesday. It's a, a quick road trip for us over to Clinton and then Cedar Rapids and Quad Cities will be here for a, a six-game homestand. And I know we got a lot going on next weekend with uh, a Paw Patrol night presented by Nick Jr. We've got uh, Jason Marshall here. We got those jerseys ready to go on as well. We also have have uh, the uh, Bob the Builder is here next weekend as well, and the uh, the the family camp out in uh, in construction night. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun next weekend here at the ballpark. I tell you what, if you haven't channeled your inner twelve year old yet, next week's gonna be the time to do that. I'm yeah. personally very excited about Bob the Builder. Um, family camp out is great. We do the scouts, so this time you know it's a new experience bringing to the ballpark, including the entire family. Um, we're gonna pitch some tents, probably put on a movie and. You know, pulling all nighter, which is going to be awesome. And the third night of that weekend is our is our third uh, Princess Day of the with with the Sunday and and have that going on. We've also got the uh, Gonzalez player poster on that one. So um, we go Paw Patrol, we go Bob the Builder, and we go Princesses. So we've got appearances uh, three days in a row on uh, on next homestand. It's a great weekend to be at the ballpark before kids go back to school. There's a lot you know focused on the kids. You know that that last. I guess it would be first week in August. First week weekend. in August, yeah. Yeah, August. Uh, a lot of, uh, lot of fun August activities. starts on Wednesday already. Yes, I know. It's yeah. it's crazy. I don't know where February went. But, no, that's that's a great opportunity for families to come out. I know school's right around the corner, so they're going to be getting back into that sleep routine. But, you know, next week is, is that kind of last opportunity to make sure the bedtime stay away and, you know, have a little fun. What do you got for the weekend? You sleeping in tomorrow? Yeah, the alarm <laughs> is, is nowhere on the radar. I'm, I'm actually going to connect with my family tomorrow. Yeah, um, perfect. And, and Sunday and be able to see some people that, you know, I kind of yeah, disappear gotta, from for gotta, six months. You got to catch up on that sleep. And, I do. Uh, and, and get a home-cooked meal. Oh, yeah. Mom's cooking. Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. So you're, you're, you're perfectly ready to go on uh, both those things. And uh, I'm going to guess that there's some laundry on the horizon uh, at, the, at the Voss house, household on the weekend. Maybe. Because we've been here for. I cannot confirm you got, you nor guys deny. Are, you guys have been here for like two weeks in a row. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's a that's a confirmation on the, uh, the real laundry. Li- real life comes real back life. into play tomorrow will, with uh, all those responsibilities. Yeah, that, that was you know that was that was me on Tuesday. You, you hit the real life. You got to mow the grass and, and do some laundry and then uh, and, and and be ready to go. Um, last last thing for you here is as we get ready, uh, your first year here with us uh, and, and along with Jason and, and Allison, in 2015, and we're seeing some of those guys now uh, break through in, in St. Louis. We had the All Star Game here that year in 2015 with Daniel Ponce de Leon and. and Austin Gomber playing in the All-Star game and now both up in, in St. Louis and having fantastic uh, debuts uh, on the mound and, and starting. So uh, I guess just kind of uh, your, uh, you know, your impression of that, your thoughts of that and being able to, to kind of use that and tell people, hey, these guys were out here three years ago and now there they are, uh, you know, kind of making waves nationally in, in baseball. I, I tell you what, um, I, I grew up cheering for, for Cubby Blue, but people being able to see these guys from my team, the Chiefs, you know, the, the team that I follow all year yeah. long, have such an incredible start. What a story with Ponce. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I'm not going to lie, I got the chills, c- shed a couple tears, just yeah. him coming back 14 months after, you know, um, his incident and shutout innings. Can, yeah. I mean, I have the chills right now talking about it, but for us, that's, that's what it's about. It's, I mean, if you take a look over here, these kids are going to get some autographs from you know, hopefully some some future MLB yeah. stars. They're and, ready to go. And yeah, they're ready to go. Um, Ponce and Gomber's doing well. I was in St. Louis for his yeah, you MLB guys were, debut. Yeah, you guys were at that game. That was pretty That's, cool. You know, we, we talk a lot about the experience here, but the product that we have on the field that, you know, if you're a baseball fan, this is the place to be because you never know whether it's the Cardinals, the Cubs, the Mariners, wherever these guys are going to break through. Um, they're made here in Peoria, and that's that's definitely something that's exciting to see every year. Yeah, you mentioned the Mariners. Former Chief Sam Tui Lavala uh, traded to the Mariners today, so Tui Lavala got in that way, and Gomber and Ponce both back up. So uh, a lot of former Chiefs making waves. Uh, as Kate mentioned earlier, don't forget Washington Park District Foundation uh, for those tennis balls today. Go buy those, raise some money there, and uh, check out these jerseys too. Last night we're wearing these Distillers jerseys, uh, raise money for the Peoria Historical Society. Go to chiefs.gesture.com. They'll get that up on the video board make that announcement a couple times you can bid on these jerseys you can buy the hats and the t-shirts in the team store as well kate have some fun with your groups tonight all right i sure will hey all have right. a great game up there you too get Put that w good show sounds good thanks for joining us here at dozer park tonight and this homestand we appreciate it